It's T with T Quilts, and I'm here to do a quilt of Valor Block, the Quilting Marine on YouTube, and I'll leave his link to his website in the description box, is having a rally for quilt blocks. He's going to be making Quilts of Valor quilts, and I am going to send a block. He's asking for each person to send only one 10 and a half inch unfinished block. So I am going to do a block called Valor Square, and I actually got it from the Quilt of Valor's website. I'll also leave a link to my block down in the description box as well. So we're going to cut for this, and I have a red, my background, and then a blue fabric. So I am going to start cutting my fabrics, and I see I need to change my battery as well in my camera, so I'll be right back. So for my first fabric, I need to cut six two and one half inch squares. So I have all of my smaller rulers packed up from doing a lecture. They are outside in the car. So we're just going to have to work with what I have here today. And I like using my rotating mat. I just spin the whole thing. Any smaller mat works great. So I want to cut a two and a half inch strip. And then from that strip, I'm going to cut six two and a half inch squares. And I could have also cut this with my die cutting machine, but I'm trying to make the instructions for people that do not have a die cutting machine. So if you want to do this, you can do it as well. You can also strip piece this if you like. Again, I just like to go ahead and cut all of my pieces. And then that way everything is cut and I don't have to come back to cutting again. Oops. Uh-oh. And this should be two and a half right close to the middle. <laughs> One, two and a half. And the last piece. So there are my six two and one half inch red squares. Next we're going to cut our white fabric or our background fabric. I'm actually using one that has more of a beige tone to it with white stars. All of my fabrics actually have star prints. And now we need seven white two and a half inch squares. So I figure I'm going to need more than one. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut off a five inch strip. And again, I need seven of these, so I've got it doubled. So for every two here, I will be making, so for every cut here, I'm making eight because this fabric is, for every cut, I actually made four because this fabric is doubled. So that's two, four, and I'll just cut another two and a half. I can always use extra two and a half inch squares in my projects. So that's my six, that's seven, and then I'm just going to go ahead and cut the rest of them into two and a half inch squares. They will be extras. I'm always short of light two and a half inch squares when I'm working on projects. 
Let's see if I can get one out of here. Yes, it just works. So I have quite a few extras. And I could have used this in my next step, but I know I'm working on my alphabet quilt, the Quilters Graffiti. And I can use those squares because I need more. <laughs> so now from the white, again, we're going to need two pieces that are two and a half by six and a half. So I've already got it folded and I'm even going to get <laughs> some more two and a half inch squares. Yay! Thinking ahead already. So I'm going to cut another two and a half inch strip. And then this time I want to cut it into two six and a half inch pieces. Six and a half. One, two, three, four, five, six, and one half. So I have two of those. And then can I get, I can only get one two and a half inch square, so I'll cut that later for extras. And from my blue, I need to have two six and one half by two and one half pieces. So again, I just need another two and a half inch strip. And this has been just cut up all kinds of ways. Is it possible to get six and a half? Yes, so we'll just take it off this bottom piece. I'm gonna cut a piece at least five inches wide. I'm going to cut this five by six and a half and then I will cut it in half. So I'm getting my length right there. And then when I slide my ruler down for two and a half, I'll have my two pieces. Two and one half by five and one half. Okay. So that is it for my pieces. I will show you what I'm going to go sew and then I will come back to you. I am going to make two pieces that are going to be sewed like this. So I'll just basically be sewing these rectangles to each other. And then with these pieces, I want to make a nine patch and a four patch. So I want one nine patch. like this so I will be sewing that I'll sew my rows and then connect those and then I'm also going to make a four patch so we'll be sewing this with that So I'm going to go sew these four units together. When I press, I'm going to press my seams towards my blue and my red fabrics, and I'll be right back. I'm back with my sewn pieces. I have made a four patch, I have made a nine patch, and then I have two rectangle units that I sewed with my strips. And I pressed the seams toward the blue on those. On my nine patch block, I sewed my seams and then pressed those toward the red fabric. And then when I did my rows, and then when I sewed my rows together, I just pressed the seams in toward the center where I've got the two red squares. And then on my four patch, when I first started out, I sewed the seam towards my red fabric. And then I pressed the center seam down. 
So now we're going to put this block together again. I, this is a very simple block. That's why I like it. And you're just going to put one of your rectangles with the blue touching on the inside. Another rectangle with the blue touching on the inside. And then you're going to place your seam down because this seam is going up. I want this seam down. So when it meet up, it will lock in, and then that is going to be your block. So I'm going to go sew these two units together, and then these two units together, and then sew my center seam, and I'll come back. So here's my completed block. Again, it's called Valor Square. And one other thing I do need to point out is that in the instructions that I'm going to leave you for the link, the completed block finishes at 12 and a half inches. The Quilting Marine is asking for... 10 and a half inch blocks so therefore I modified the sizes that I cut so please be aware of that and this is the back side I always say make your backs as pretty as your fronts and then they quilt up very nice so this is my quilt block for the quilt of valor challenge through the quilting marine hopefully you can participate as well and I'll see you next time bye bye Thank you.